Birthdays are kind of weird. I'm now 21 and it feels really kind of weird to say that. With birthdays, a lot of people kind of have this idea like you have to celebrate, you have to do all these great things and that. But really when it comes down to it, it's just another day. I mean, there is of course an importance on it. You know, it's like your own personal new year. It's kind of this thing that you should be celebrating because it's another year of your life that you've had. But I also kind of think that if people are over celebrating and wanting to do too much on their birthday, then and have such a special day, then they're kind of not living a life that they would want to have. Whenever I have a birthday, I always get kind of reflective and really like, what do I want to do with my day? What have I been doing? And am I kind of enjoying my life at the moment? Um, and I've just kind of looked at my life and realized like, oh, like last year I had probably one of the worst birthdays I've ever had. I was living away for the first time and I didn't have any friends. I didn't spend the day doing anything that I really liked or felt proud of or anything. I don't even particularly remember what I did, if anything. I just remember kind of feeling really sad and it was just a bad time in my life. And I'm kind of grateful that this year I feel a lot better. Of course, it's not perfect, but I feel a lot better. And I think that's a better marker, you know, each year you kind of see an improvement in your life. And I think that's one of the best gifts you can get on your birthday. It's not someone giving you something. It's not something, anything external like that. It's just like, I've spent this year, I've invested in this year. And now this over this year, I've felt better than I do last year. And that's a gift that no one can take away from me because it's something that I've built up myself and that I've done for myself. And I think that's a kind of good way to look at it, you know, just when it's your birthday, just kind of reflect and see where you're going and what you want with your life. I think that's kind of important because of course it's nice to celebrate and do nice things. And I think that's important that you kind of give yourself a break from the norm and try and do something that you wouldn't normally do as well. But also, you know, with 21, you know, lots of people think that's such a big number. And for me, I never really understood why it was such a big number. I mean, like in America, you know, it's like when you can start drinking and that sort of thing. And well, for me, I've always kind of thought like I've, I've never been very much someone that wants to drink or wants to have a lot of alcohol. And also, you know, like it affects your brain quite a lot. And as a male, my brain isn't fully developed until I'm 27. So I want to cut that down as much as possible and drink as little as possible until then, just in case, you know, because I want to be set up. You know, you, you don't want to have like a little buffer. Like you don't, we don't really realize now, but the things that we have have an effect on us in our years. And as I was saying, 21, you know, it's just kind of a number. And, you know, the quality of your life, the quality of your days and how you live is not quantified in years. It's quantified in experiences and wisdom. And these things aren't in years. They're not quantifiable. They're not something that you can kind of get and that are tangible. You know, these are things that are earned and that are spent day after day and just experiencing new things and that kind of thing. And I think that's another important thing with birthdays is to also kind of reflect and see if you're doing what you want to do and, you know, not waiting, waiting for so long to do something that you want to do and kind of realizing, oh, I want to try this. So why don't I go try that? And, you know, our minds can get so caught up in just the humdrum of the normal days. And it's nice to kind of have this moment on your birthday to kind of see things in a different light and try and do something new and different to kind of shake things up and that sort of thing. So to conclude, basically what I'm trying to say is that I think it's important on birthdays to, of course, enjoy it and of course, relax and, you know, do something out of the norm and treat yourself nicely on your birthday because, you know, this is life and that's, that's what we have. And I also think that it's very important to reflect and kind of think where you want to go, where you've been and where you would like to go in the future because you know, you never know when your time's going to be up and you never know what's going to happen. But there's certain things that you can do day to day that can kind of lead you to a future that you would prefer that you would like, which is something that I keep talking about. 
So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.